Yang Yuelou was a master Beijing opera artist in late Qing Dynasty. In 1888, Yang Yuelou got a position in Shengping Shu, and got the chance to perform for the Empress Dowager Cixi. But he was widely known by today's people because of his conviction in Shanghai. In 1873, his case was considered as one of four strange cases of the late Qing Dynasty. In 1872, which was the eleventh year of Tongzhi's time, Yang Yuelou performed in Shanghai as a master Beijing opera artist. He liked today's superstar. Just thinking the superstar in your country, then you can imagine how popular Yang Yuelou was. In Yang Yuelou's fans, there was a 17 years old girl called Wei Abao, who was the daughter of a rich businessman. Wei Abao fell in love with Yang Yuelou and asked her white nurse. To send a letter to describe her love, and mentioned she wanted to be married with Yang Yuelou. Yang Yuelou worried this was a trap and didn't reply. Wei Abao waited and waited, but nothing happened. She missed Yang Yuelou so much and got sick. As a successful businessman. Yang Yuelou's father generally visits among different cities, so only Wei Abao's mother, Wei Wangshi, and the white nurse at home. Wei Wangshi really worried about her daughter, and she also was the Yang Yuelou's fan, so she agreed this marriage and informed Yang Yuelou, but. She didn't tell Wei Abao's father. At that time, Yang Yuelou's mother just arrived at Shanghai. After got his mother's permission, Yang Yuelou visited Wei Abao, and the two families prepared the wedding process for them. Later, Yang Yuelou asked his manager, as much maker, to ask the. Wei family for marriage. Wei family's matchmaker was a Wei Abao's clan uncle. This uncle represented Wei family to accept the engagement. Unfortunately, this arrange this marriage was known by Wei Abao's real uncle Wei Tianliang. Wei Tianliang firmly disagreed this marriage. Using the law, Liang Jian Bu Hun. In ancient China, people were put into different categories. Beijing opera artist were in the bottom category, which was called the Jian Ji. Businessmen also belonged to the lower category, but they were considered as normal people. Which was called the Liang Ji. In ancient time, people in different categories were not allowed to be married, which was called the Liang Jian Bu Hun. In late Qing Dynasty, this law didn't strictly apply. Usually, if no one discovered to the government, the government didn't positively involve. Wei Wang Shi know her daughter couldn't be married with Yang Yuelou in normal way, so she supposed Yang Yuelou and Wei Wang Abao got married secretly and lived Shanghai. Unfortunately, on the way, Wei Tianliang leading a group of people caught this new couple and sent them to the government. The government officer spawned the new couple, 
and waited Wei Abao's father to come back. Later, Wei Abao's father came back to Shanghai. He had the same idea as his brother, and thought Wei Abao humiliated the whole clan. He required a government officer increase the punishment. Eventually, Yang Yuelou was banished. Wei Abao was abandoned by her clan, and her marriage was arranged by the government. After this law case, there wasn't a record about Wei Abao anymore, so we have no idea her ending. Wei Abao's mother passed away several months after losing her daughter. In 1875. Guangxu became the emperor, and Cixi celebrated her 40 years old birthday. Cixi forgiven prisoners. Yang Yuelou was on the list and came back home. Later, he got married. Yang Yuelou's son Yang Xiaolou also was an excellent master Beijing opera artist. Yang Yuelou's case was widely discussed by people living in late Qing Dynasty, because in late Qing, Western culture gradually influenced ancient Chinese people. For marriage, people should fully follow traditional rules or accept Western rules, which was a question. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.